y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome i'm kirsten and today's video is obviously a fourth of july inspired look so if you guys want to see how i got this really pretty glittery um independent stay look then make sure you guys keep watching so i'm gonna go ahead and prime y'all already know this but i'm gonna prime with my illegal concealer and today i'm using pure beige Y'all, I'm so hot. Like, my fan, my ceiling fan is on. I got a fan sitting over on the floor and the air is blowing. And I'm burning up. I don't know what's going on with me. It's so hot. I don't know why I'm so hot. I think it's because I got these bright lights shining on me. So, I'm kind of all over the place today, um, palette-wise. Okay, so the first palette I'm using is the matte book from the crayon case and i'm using this red out here i love this palette um i need to do like a actual review on it but it's a good palette i love matte so this is definitely me but i'm gonna take the red and i'm gonna pack that like in the first half of my crease and for that i'm using a e18 i have a hard time talking and oh my gosh i can't never do a look without getting makeup on my shirt but let me just kind of talk to y'all while i do this so at least try because i have a hard time talking while i do my makeup which is so weird but um a lot of y'all were like how do you get your colors to be so pigmented i did a video on that i really don't know what to tell y'all like i really am convinced it's these brushes though like these are the bait phase i use these all the time from morphe and i never have problems with my colors not showing I really have to like take the time to pack on color i do edit a lot of that out i probably shouldn't i need to do like a i guess in um a very detailed video and like show y'all like how i dip into the palette i caught myself doing that in the other video but i don't know if that'll help y'all but you really 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 have to take your time and pack these colors on and build them up I like to use smaller brushes to pack my colors on and y'all see like it performs well when I do it like that regardless of what palette I'm using. So I'm taking my um, A Blissful Treat palette from Yummy Cosmetics. I'm not really sure if I was supposed to introduce you guys to this palette yet because I am going to be doing um, a separate video dedicated to this palette. I actually have two of them because I will be giving one away but um, I'm just going to dip into this color. This is what it looks like by the way y'all. It's really really pretty and I love that it has these glitters at the bottom but I'm going to be taking this blue. It's called Cloudy and I'm going to be packing it on the outer corner of my lid. So like I said, I will be doing another look with this palette, um, this palette only, but as you guys can see, just from me using this one shade from it, it's very, very pigmented. I'm gonna take some more red. I'm gonna grab this brush from BH Cosmetics. It's just a blending brush. Um, it's a number 12 or 21, is it 21? Yes, yeah, it's a number 21. And I'm going to be taking a straight treat out of this palette from Yummy Cosmetics. And I'm going to use this one to blend out the red, the darker red that we put down earlier. And sometimes what I do is I have a makeup rag. I'm not going to show it to y'all because it got makeup all over it. But um, sometimes I'll take my brush and um, wipe some of the product out and then go back and blend it some more. That way I'm just blending and not adding more product because I don't really need to add any more. I just need to blend out what's already here. Okay, so I'm adding some more of Cloudy. I'm also going to try to... Maybe I should use a smaller brush. I'm going to take the E18 that I put the red down with and try to get like a um, ombre effect going on here. But not too much because it will mix and make purple. Alright, so taking the M506, I'm going to go into the shade Blue Raspberry from the same palette and use that to blend out the darker blue. That's one thing I do like about this is that there, are, for some reason, like, well, in my palettes, I like there to be a dark shade and a lighter shade of that same color. That way, one can go on my crease and I can use the other one to help me blend it. That is um, not something you have to do. You can always take a large blending brush like y'all see me do in a lot of my videos, something like this, and blend it out. You'll get the same effect. It's just easier for me to add a lighter color. I'm 
go back to the dark blue and I'm gonna add some more, but this time I'm gonna blend it out very lightly. I'm gonna tap some of that off because I know it's too much. Y'all know I was wearing that wig, right? When I first took it off, I swear to y'all, my hair looked so big. I was like, did my hairline get pushed back? But that mess made me so used to thinking my forehead was little, so when I took it off, I was like... Okay, y'all think that's blended good enough. Now, if you want to take a large blending brush, like I just showed you, you can blend this out right here. You can, or the brush you used to put your concealer down, you can just take it and lightly tap it over here, and that'll give you the same result. I'm gonna go ahead and create a halo. Um, For some reason, I can never like find the middle of this eyelid. I know that's so strange. I'm using my Makeup Revolution um, Conceal and Define Foundation in F1. Yeah, I'm just using the foundation because it works the same as their concealer. You get my products for your money. And it's not centered. Oh well, yeah, we gonna make it work. I'm gonna use the red, of course, to blend out this side and the blue to blend out this side. This part is like just extra just because it's the fourth and you know like fireworks and all that stuff. So I'm taking my um some more pigments from Ole Miss Cosmetics. I've been using these pigments a lot lately. When the white one is gold showers, the blue one is sapphire, and this one is ruby. So ruby looks more like a fine glitter in comparison to sapphire and literally all the other ones I have. They look more like um just like glitter pigments. I don't know if y'all can see the difference, but so I'm just going to take my famous packing brush from Amazon. I'm going to put some red here, blue here, and then obviously the white is going to go in the middle. So I actually prefer glitter pigments over loose glitter or fine glitters. So I don't have to worry about putting glue down first. And I like how it just sticks to my eyelid and it's just so thick with it. Okay, so let me do my mascara and my lashes. Um... Mascara, I told you guys to use Mega Length by Wet n Wild. Don't like the new formula. This is a new one. This is the old one. Don't really matter because I discontinued that one. So my lashes today are from Falsify Lashes. These are in the style Aisha. Um, super dramatic, super pretty. Um, I will link her Instagram along with the direct link to these lashes down below. Here's a card. I don't think it's going to focus so you guys can see it. But like I said, I will link everything down below um, so you guys can purchase them if you want to. So I got my lashes on, and for some reason, I really like the look with nothing at the bottom. Like, just looking at it, I really like this eye, but, you know, I can't, like, undo this one. So, never realized that until I'm on the other eye, and it's too late. Mm -hmm. I did line my waterline with some black eyeliner, and then, as you guys can see, I took the blue and the red and smoked it out at the bottom. I'm taking my Root Pro Balloons palette. And I'm gonna grab this white. I always feel like I blind y'all with this palette. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna take this white shimmery eyeshadow and that is gonna be my highlighter today. Line my lips very lightly because this is really red. Like I didn't I didn't know it was that red. I don't really do red lipstick, but this is a suede lip liner in the oh in the shade Alabama. And of course I'm adding lip gloss because y'all know good and well I'm not gonna put on my red lipstick. Mm -mm. I discovered that red lipstick makes me look old. 
that's a very like simple way to add some color to your lips if you're like me you don't really care for lipstick or you can just buy some colored lip glosses but i actually don't like this so i'm gonna take it off and just stick to the regular clear lip gloss okay you guys so that's it for this video if you guys did like this look make sure you give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more looks make sure you guys stay safe on the floors no um no drinking and driving i don't even know how old y'all are but make sure i stay safe don't set us on fire and yeah i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video